What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jamaica here, coming at you with another deck deck. This is my blue-green Delver list. Um, I had a lot of different decks I wanted to try today. Um, I don't know why I settled on this one. Maybe because um, I didn't want to... I guess I want to play a tribal deck, which I've already done. And I want to play a deck with 12 trolls, which I've already done. So this is just a random tempo deck that I've been kind of thinking about. What, excuse me, mainly because of Decisive Denial, which I think is a really fun card. And I wanted to try out for the new set. And there are a couple of different cards that, excuse me, kind of can play well with it. So, but it's um, kind of a weird Delver shell. So we'll see what it goes. Uh, land base, only 20 lands. Um, playing with Lumbering Falls, I actually think um, a lot of the creature lands we have are really good. I think um, Lumbering Falls is a really good, like, late game threat. That's Hexproof, which is probably one of the better ones. Maybe, I guess maybe like Lava Car Reaches is the best one. No, Frostlock Bastion, that's got to be the best one. But when you need dual lands, you might as well just play the uh, creature lands. It's it's really weird to see like gain lands being played now. Gain lands were like such a big deal back in like old school PD days. But now there's like an abundance of creature lands. So most of the, most of the time you should be playing these. So I'm playing with this. Ten islands, six forests. Uh, Going to play with Delver. Um, A lot of like these like mono blue Temple Ducks definitely cut Delvers. And I don't really, like, blame them. The spell count's a little low here. There's um 21 spells to flip a Delver. But I don't think it's that bad, especially when you have Ponder. Ponder kind of just, like, fixes everything, as you remember from the um, the Dreadnought uh, PD500 winning list. You know, Ponder just fixes everything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean on that. It's still, like, one of the best turn one threats you can do if it's unanswered. So it's pretty great. A uh, Fairy Vandal's gonna go great with all the card drawing, with the Curious Obsession. That's kind of, kind of like the combo, so it's good. It's a good flash threat too, why not? Uh, the green threats though, for Deep Root Champion and Manic Gorder Hunter, just kind of like guys that kind of grow. One of my favorite old um, standard decks and like standard Delver was actually like a Bant Delver list with like Geist of St. Traft and uh, Queer Andriad. So this is kind of like my port of that. So Deep Root Champion triggers with any non creature spell. Um, it doesn't have to be just, like, you know, a colored spell, like a non-green spell, like Queer on Dryad. So it kind of works with, like, the majority of the deck, I would say. And Mana Gorgia Hydra is another big threat. Um, pretty big with any spell. Anyone has a cast spell, so it just kind of punishes everyone here. Uh, counter spell package, Mana Leak, you know, it's the classic. Decides to nail another counter spell slash fight. Your, current, your creatures get pretty big. Vandals, uh, champions, and hydras all get pretty big. So the fight thing kind of gets good later. Uh, Simic Charm is another, like, fun sort of, like, dual threat or module card. Uh, it's a pump spell, so it's, you can kind of push you damage with Mana Gorge or Hydra. Um, Permanent Skin Hexproof, that's not too bad, especially in, like, some sort of weird, like, I don't know, maybe, like, Ponza decks or just, like, Burn that goes to your creature. So it's a pseudo counter spell. And then it's also a bounce spell, which can be good in certain matchups like Swans, where they kind of want to just target their own thing. Or if they have like a big flourishing box, you just bounce it. So it's a nice catch-all. Uh, Forbid is the last card I like because um another card I'm. It's always weird to see like these like mono blue tempo decks kind of like flame out a little bit because again, ran out of things to do. So once you get like a curious position for bid lock, it's actually pretty good, honestly. So um I'm gonna try that out. And of course the card drawing sweep uh where we talked obsession. Uh, Ponder and Opt. I'm going with Opt over sleight of hand because it says draw a card, which is really good with Fairy Vandal. And of course, Ponder, excellent, excellent, excellent card. Uh, sideboard's a bit thrown together, admittedly. Return of Nature and Torment Script are kind of like team up for Great Fairy Tale. I think like Jeskai Ascendancy and Egg Stacks are kind of on the rise, so you kind of need like, especially like Torment Scripts, things like that. Single Creeping Corrosion in case like Affinity shows up. Test of Talents to Spell, it's kind of like anti, we'll say like anti combo, but Test of Talents you could bring in actually against like the burn decks and whatnot. It's actually not that bad. But I think this spell's a good, like, counter war, counter, another counter war sort of, like, uh, card. It's just cheap. And repeal is just extra, um, extra bounce spells. Or, like, small creatures, like, maybe, like, heroic. Even, you can even bring it in against, um, what do you call it? You can even bring it against aggro slide. It, it bounces, like, foxes or, like, lightning grips, things like that. So, uh, I'm gonna play in a tournament today. We're actually about 10 minutes out from this tournament that I just kind of randomly built this deck. I've played zero games. Uh, but it's all going to be streamed on my Twitch, so if you're not following Twitch already, uh, the link is in the description below. I've been playing a lot of DBC WoW lately, so the streams have been very WoW-based, but I swear I will do magic. <laughs> I will do magic once I've hit 70, so, which will be very soon, uh, from the recording of the video. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a little adventure into the Delver world.
All right, round one with this Delver nonsense. I'm gonna keep, but not like a turn one Delver. I'm gonna draw, so I'm gonna draw an island. This is fine, I would say. Who keeps a lot of green sources? Um, block. Block. I'm gonna keep down. Peek back here real quick. Make sure everything's on the up and up. All right. All right. The gorger. Okay. Interesting. Maybe some sort of aggro deck, I guess. Um. Might need to just hold mana leak then. Gruel Drads Vampire. Yes. Okay. Definitely aggressive for sure. Uh so I'm gonna hold Manalik here for another random creature. I'm gonna take some hits, but uh this might be a bit rough. I don't need like a like I don't need something like that. I, I don't need that in my life right now, so take this time off. They've been mulliganed a lot too. They're already down to one card. It looks like they mulligan. Did they? Yeah, they went to five. So this is like mostly what I have to deal with. I have to imagine the last spell, maybe maybe like a counter spell or something. Or I'm sorry, a um like a removal spell. So I got the Delver down. I have to type the denial. Um maybe I can like trade it trade the Delver for one of these things. Or at least use the denial to counter like a removal spell. I might trade. Hmm. I want to trade. Actually, I'm going to trade here. Because I think I could use the Lumping Falls later. Because I have like five lands. Um. Okay, Noble. That's kind of annoying. Because, um. I have like. A very low removal spells. But I'm going to keep. Okay, this is interesting. I don't know if the obsession is good. I'm not really on the offensive. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. <laughs> Just to draw another one, I guess. Alright, there's the Forbid. But I don't have, like, triple blue, so I'm gonna play another Falls. Play another Delver. Which can't block the Stromkirk Noble. That's a bit sad. But maybe I flip the Delver, put the Obsession on, and then fight. Maybe that's, like, the game, the game plan here. Okay, there's Slaughter Pact. Um, I need this guy to live. Wait, they have three mana. Dang. Dang. Okay, so I guess we're fighting. Just gonna fight here. Which means you don't have to pay the uh, pack trigger. But this is fine, because now I have the Lumbering Falls back up with Forbid as well. So I just kind of hang out. Ooh. Or I just flash block. Or I just like flash block here. Don't do it. Okay. Now the lock is set. Here's the lock. Um, sort of. I'm tacking. Absolutely. Uh, always yes, is yield. Uh, always yield this. Perfect. This is the perfect scenario. Kind of just like bid, bid my time here. I have to forbid. I just have a lot of stuff going on. Fiery temper to the dome. Um, what is this? Plus two. I'll just counter this. And then if they try to attack, woof. It's it's on. Oh god, no, no. <laughs> Alright. Okay. 
It's over. Forbid locked up. Unless you play like two spells a turn, I don't see myself losing this. It's okay. That was great, except my opponent mulliganed to five, so I don't think it really was. I got to seize control of the game. The, the knuckles were actually pretty good there. I didn't think they would be that good, but they actually kind of worked out. On the draw here, I want to bring in the repeals for sure. This seems like a really good card to bring in. As good as her bid was in that spot, I'm going to cut at least one of them. And, I don't know. The denials are actually pretty good. I didn't think they'd be that good, but it is. it does kind of, like, you just kind of trade creatures early on. Delver was really good. Delver was really good at being a fight target. <laughs> so, um, I, I want to keep them in, obviously. I may just shave cards. Maybe I'll just like shave a leak. I'll shave a leak. And then one more card. One more card to cut. Um. Maybe the Obsession. I may just cut the Obsession. Could I have less for bids, so this is fine. Mm, this seems pretty decent. I can keep. Another, like, slow-ish hand, but I am dead of control deck in this matchup, so I'm totally fine with this. A hand like this. Opponent, opponent mulliganing again. Unfortunate. That's six. Currently. Alright, looks like they're satisfied. The Noble is like the best turn one starter that this deck has, for sure. Um, hmm. Tempting. I think I'm just going to play the Falls first, so I can have Mana Leak up. The, the Vandal can block the Noble pretty well. Ooh, Lacerator, I love it. This is big. This is a big, aggressive start. This is annoying because they don't have to do anything else to the board. And I'm going to take like 6 this turn. This might be this might be tough. I might have to Simic Charm something. I'm not really sure. Or just like play the Vandal, Ponder, and then just hold that up for a bit. I think that's just the game plan I have to have. Unless they have a removal spell for the Vandal. Okay. Like, this is kind of, like I said, if I can't really hold a Vandal if I'm Vandal leaking this. The only thing I have to do is, like, I have to draw a land next turn. Yeah, I think I just have to... I guess I have to just let it go. Hmm. There's a deep root champion, which is not bad. It'd be another blocker. I could trade. I could just trade with something for now. I might have to. I might need that actually. This gonna be rough. This might be a rough one. But I'm definitely on the defensive here. Oh, this is the captain. Captain's gross because that's first. It gives all the creatures first strike, and it pumps. I don't think I'm dead, but it's really close. Um, I'll go to four and then just hang out. 
If I put the land on top, I could have I could have Hydra and then and then pondered. I didn't really think about that. Okay, let's just let's just let's just wrap it up. That's a really that's a really aggressive start from my opponent. That's like the best start they could have. Oh my god, I'm... this geo is so weird sometimes. I always feel like it's going to crash, but it doesn't. All right, let's just run it back. I think the downside of playing, like, this color combination... Ooh, I'll keep. Is the head... Um, I don't have, like, removal, like, red, like, the blue-red Delver decks usually have, like, Chain Lightning and stuff like that. I do not have that luxury, so. I really have to, like, use combat to trade with creatures. Alright, let's set up everything. Um, I like all of this. Do we really want to dance? And then... Okay. Mm. Let's set the trap. We'll set the trap here. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> no trap anymore. Um. Dang it. Still gonna play it anyway. Mm. Okay, falls. Set up. I'm not really blocking in this scenario, so I'm just gonna attack. This guy's really annoying if he's gonna have like a fiery temper. It's gonna be like super annoying. Maybe there's like bounce spell, so I can kind of grow everything. I have to do it on my turn, which is kind of awkward, but. Because of the Vandal, I, I just kind of need to do that. Okay, I'm going to take this. Hmm. This is kind of annoying. Maybe I should have, like... Cause I, I, that was the other part. If I draw another two drop, I wanted to have something else here. Um, I'll just hang out. Still on the defensive. Okay. They'll be blocking here because they can't really. Um, I can't really pump enough here to pump everything. It's only one to turn. Ooh. Denied, huh? Denial's a nice one. Because I have a bunch of deeper champions now, too. So I could I could fight. Fight while this thing's on the triggers on the stack. Slaughter packed. Um hmm. Interesting. I guess we'll just fight again. No matter what, they can't stop this. Because even if they like discard to try to pump it, it's still gonna like they're still they're still, still trade no matter what. And my board's pretty good. I think actually my board's really decent here. Sure. They still, they still trade. I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like them discarding that. That, that didn't do anything. I guess that didn't really do anything for them. Because <laughs> it still grew because of the, uh, its trigger. Okay. So, I mean, this is all I have to deal with. This is not bad. It's not a bad scenario. I just have to, like, kind of play control. I have another creature land, too, to block. Um, alright. Ponder. 
Ooh, there's the Hydra. No. I like attacking here. I kind of went this game over with, so I just like attacking. I feel pretty strong about this. Um, this guy's just going to get out of control in a minute. I mean, I have a mana leak and land coming up, so I don't like that attack at all. Uh... Okay. Hmm. I can play Mandalik and uh, activate the Lumbering Falls, so that's why I'm attacking. The Lumbering Falls is an excellent blocker in this scenario, and I have my guys a 2 2. So anything that happens, I just Mandalik it and still have the falls, and my guy gets bigger. It's large as a land. Um, go, go, Fairy Vandal. Two more attacks to go. Eventually, just the Gorger just kind of gets in. I don't know what they could draw at this point. Um, the Vandal kind of just like solves everything, except for Slaughter Pact. Okay. Hmm. I guess this is interesting because if they don't, they they. Well, this doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna kill this. I don't really care about that. I guess it's bigger. I don't know. Maybe I should care about it. Maybe because I have so many mana leaks, I just should have just like fired it off. I'm gonna only really move it. Worry about removal. But I have a bunch of mana leaks as well, so I don't. I don't really know how they're gonna burn me out at this point. I only care about this. I only care about protecting this. So, like they can all out attack. I just kind of chump. I just kind of chump a bunch of things and they die. It's probably the only thing they can do at this point. Okay. Oh, it's Intimidate. Oh, it has Intimidate. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay. So they have to have, like... I mean, they have to fight through two Mana Leaks here. Oh, it has text on it. Oh. What did it... <laughs> Guess they're looking to try a burn spell, which was their out, but yeah, who reads? Who reads around here? Alright, round two with the uh thing dreadful blue green delver list. On the die roll, it's a good start. Um What a mole again. And it's very suspect. I I I want a threat. I definitely want a threat to start. That is a threat. Um I do have a lot of ops, so I will keep this. I might just turn one ponder. Um turn one ponder, lumbering falls this, so uh, can play the Hydra if nothing crazy happens. Alright, ponder up. 
Uh, let's see. These are all good cards. These are all actually pretty decent cards. Um, definitely want the threat, so... I assume Brian Moss is playing Jets Guy Tendency in the last deck they played. So you, you always want a, a good threat to start off early when you're playing against combo decks. You just want pressure plus disruption. So pressure, disruption. That's what I want. I actually clicked it accidentally. This is like, this is basically a mana leak. This is just basically another mana leak against this deck. Okay. Maybe Burst Lightning would be really sad about this. What's my next card? It's, it's an island. Okay, maybe not. Alright, Opt. Deep Root Champions, another nice one. I don't think I really want it, though. I'm gonna bottom it. Okay, I drew a land. I have to yield that. They have a choice. They could burst lightning my guy down, but I hope they don't, so. I'm just gonna hold Mana League for a bit. I'm just gonna get in. Just getting in. Hopefully I can just hold this and if I draw like a curious obsession, this is gonna be an incredible clock. I actually really like this card because it's 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 a removal spell and a counter spell all at once. So I'm pretty happy about this. This is kind of the reason I built this deck was to try this card out, and so far it's been really good. Okay, Astrolabe, a nice redraw fixes their mana base, so this actually makes mana now. Ooh, we did it. Um, I'm gonna refrain from playing this land because if I draw another counter spell, I don't, I don't know. But if I draw like a Delver, I'll play a Delver. If they counter this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Or they repeat? Maybe they repeal my guy in response. Or are they gonna lapse? Um, I could, I could deny all this, uh, but then, but then I'm, like, open to, like, an Ascendancy, which is, like, really annoying. It's actually, like, super annoying, so I'm just gonna let it happen. Now I get to, like, but now I get to, like, play the Lumbering Falls, I guess. Alright. Have fun. Thank you for getting your shot. You are much appreciated for that. I guess they're also out of the range of, like, Mandalik soon. One more land, they'll, 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 the denial is not really like a counter spell anymore. So maybe I could have just denied that. Interesting. I thought they'd make white here. going on? I don't know what they're doing. I think they're going to want to make white. Love Briar Moss. Long time, long time friend in the PD world. But he plays so slow sometimes. He's very like, he's very um, what's the word I want to use? Meticulate. That is the word. 
very meticulous with his actions. Which it does kind of bite him, because he's kind of it makes him kind of slow. What do they make it with blue red? Oh. Hmm. Okay. I think they're just deciding on whether to use the talisman or not. The life the life matter the life loss might actually matter, so I think they actually do want to keep that. Alright, they exile the island to play. I'm gonna just slam the Hydra here and have um denial back up. I'm gonna draw the obsession, but it is kind of a big deal. Triggers on anyone's spells, so it's kind of a big deal. They repeal my guy. I'm actually gonna let it happen. I think. Okay. Hmm. Like, I think I'm fine with this, honestly. Because then I get to trigger the Hydra again, so I don't, like, lose that much. I get to replay the Vandal and trigger the Hydra. I lost, like, one counter, and so I'm kind of a big deal. I really would like to draw a Forbid off this Obsession soon. I might just, like, Obsession my Hydra. I think that's actually the play. One more land and I can play around the Denial. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the thing about Jet Sky Tendency, is that the... Nothing matters until they play the Ascendancy, and then everything matters. So everything is leading up to that point. As long as I can annoy them. And the Hydra's so annoying, too, because they, they have to dig. They just have to keep digging. So the Hydra's like a perfect card in these kind of matchups. As it triggers off both, both of our spells. It's pretty great. I might even play the Vandal. I don't know if I should, even should play the Vandal. Once I tap out here. It's going to be a Fate Stitcher? Okay. Hmm. So, they're playing as the Icy of this. They get like one turn for that. Huh. Thinking. I might play the Vandal Obsession. Attack with everyone. They're more likely the IT than the, the Gorger. I can also just fight this, but I think fighting is like really bad here. That's why I have like a billion. Like, I would draw another like card drawing spell before my. Hmm. I guess I can go to like second pool. I'm gonna add a green here. I'll just on my upkeep. Um. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. This is super tricky. Um, I have the option of fighting. I feel like they, they want to go off this turn. Which they're totally capable of. Yeah, I, I might be just dead, but...
The only thing I really have to do, maybe they eat a mana and they just like are short of mana. That's the only, this is the only thing I really could do. So I'm going to fight. They would have like a, a lot of like one minute cantrips at this point. I can see at the ask. Oh, they have the the bastion too. The bastion's really good. It actually adds an extra mana. I kind of forgot about that. It's colorless mana, though. So we'll see. They could just fizzle. Maybe. Or I'm just dead. We'll see. Alright, they're going to activate their Bastion. They're going to opt. I, I just don't know if they have enough mana. Yeah. We'll see. Alright, there's an obsessive search. That's pretty good. So they're going to keep digging. They're going to try to make their guys a lot bigger. To be ascendancy through a lot of like one or two minute cantrips, and then tap down my guy trying to kill me. I mean, I, I don't know how much colorless mana they could really use. I wonder if this deck plays that one card, the two mana, like look for a land card. That'd be nice for colorless mana. Alright, they found a cruise. I guess it's also, I guess colorless mana is not bad either, especially snow mana because it triggers astrolabes. So they were to draw an astrolabe. It's actually a, a, a sick redraw. Plus fixes their mana. So I probably am dead. <laughs> Alright, they found another Fate Stitcher. Which will increase... Will, uh, will decrease the amount of like cards they have to play. But they just have this astrolabe to make land. I guess they could have two mana now. Now, they're, now I'm dead. Now they have like a bunch of mana. They can actually untap. Well, untapping their, untapping your astrolabes be incredibly aggressive. Are right, they gonna burst lightning me? Which actually, is great <laughs> for them. All right. Um, I am at eighteen. They need one more spell to kill. Wait, no, eleven, thirteen. They need like two more spells. Do they have two spells to cast? Non-creature spells, obviously. They have another ascendancy. That's kind of gross. All right, I am very dead here. Bastion's nice with all the snow lands and the astrolabe. It's actually a really nice inclusion here. I actually like that. All right, one more spell. So oh, they have another face stitcher. Tap down the vandal. Just tap down the vandal. I don't even have their spell. Just tap down the Vandal. <laughs> now you're just playing with your food. Math! Just math it out! What is it, eight? <laughs> so extra! This is so extra! <laughs> Absolutely extra there. Like, what card can I... I could have Snapback, I guess, but... That'd be insane if I had Snapback in my deck. I think it'd be insane, but not really. If they're actually playing around Snapback, they're kind of gods. I know, I, I have my own card in my hand, too. Exactly. So now, okay, now now we're just playing with our food here. Come on. Come on. 
Wrap it up. Wrap it up. I don't concede these spots either. So it's my opponent to kill me. They want to use their clock go right ahead. This is MTGO, baby. We are a chess clock world. I can, can I get, eat my yogurt? I can eat my last body yogurt. Mm-hmm. Boyko, sponsor me, please. I love your yogurt. Please sponsor me. Boyko's. Boyko's Gaming. Come on. Make it happen, guys. Boyko's <laughs> Gaming. <laughs> it's in the Magic World. All right. Um... So I definitely want, like, Torvald's Crypts for the Graveyard Hate. Eh, I want a bunch of Return to Natures, I believe. Mm, Simic Charm is kind of whatever. It's not really the card I want in this matchup. Mm. I really don't know what else. I need to make room. So I, th I every time I have to like say myself, I have to make room for things. I just always cut obsessions. <laughs> I just always cut them. It makes Vandal a lot worse too. So I'll cut like a Vandal. I think I can like get get by with like deeper champions and mana gorgers. I think we're good. Dispel. I don't think it really this is the match for dispel. Repeal could be okay too, but I don't I don't think I really want to that's not really a spot I want to be in. I try to deal with ascendancy when I see it, so that's why I have soft counters and some disenchants. Also I can always return to nature of uh, a fate stitcher, so I think just having the full four is nice. Maybe it's on Delver. I mean, a lot of things can change. They gave a burst lighting though to start, so I really want to see a Delver in turn one. This is pretty aggressive Delver, the Delver deck. I mean, a pretty like not aggressive, ambitious Delver deck with like ten untap blue sources. Uh, I'm down to keep this actually. I'm actually down. I'll slay my champion and sit on mana leaks and stuff. I'm pretty down for this hand. Imagine if this was a Queer on Dryad. This might be a lot different. <laughs> Maybe I should split Queer on Dryad. No, because they have other green spells. I don't know. I don't know what's better. The Champion or Dryad. Actually. Assuming they're both legal, of course. Dryad might be better, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. Just seven. Four champions, three hydras. Everything else is like lands and spells. So I can just sit on the champion for a bit. Um, if they don't play anything, I just cast the Vandal. Sure. Move the discard. Oh my. Um. All right. I'm gonna play another champion. <laughs> oh my. If they go land Pyroclasm, I'm kind of annoyed. Don't. Don't. Okay. All right. All right. 
right. I, I feel good. Actually, I, I like my position a lot. I feel pretty decent about it so far. I just have piles of mana leaks, and I'll have more and more creatures. I might just mana leak anything here. I, I will literally mana leak anything. Anything. <laughs> I think they're, they're mm, I think they're trying to fire spout. If I had to guess. It's not gonna happen. But I, I yeah, I'm I'm literally gonna mana leak any spell that happens. <laughs> Alright. Spell off the top. Instant sorcery off the top for the for the fellows here. All right, am I a gamer? This is this is a pro gamer move here. Let's see. No, it's not a pro gamer move. No, but I have her bid up now, so this is nice. I get the Delver is really good at disc getting discarded to the forbid. I kind of want to mantle. I kind of want to forbid this. No. I could have just played the second Delver. Maybe. I think I just forbid anything that happens here. The Vandal makes it a two turn clock anyway, so. I think I can hold up forbid or leak or whatever. They have, like, instant speed, like, burn spell here. That'd be kind of annoying. They might lapse. They actually might lapse the the fairy vandal because then it then it um guarantees the delver will not transform. Okay, or not. I like the one man the one land gambit. That was a that was an interesting gambit. It did not pay off, but yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to write it back. I felt fine. Brymoth gifted me a game there for by not by trying, playing a one-lander. They had two cantrips. I, I don't hate the decision, but... I didn't really see how they mulliganed, either. I don't think they mulliganed, actually. Um, Another slow-ish hand. I'm going to keep... Question mark? I don't know. I think I have a better hand than this. Actually, I'm going to mulligan. This would be it. This is definitely a mecha keep, but I'm gonna go against the tide here. Just mulligan. Um, this hand's a bit better. I will. I will keep this one. I don't know what the remove though. I think I'm getting ready to land. Yeah. Kind of aggressive, but I do have an opt. Okay. I definitely want the threat first, so I have to play the threat before the mana leak. And even if they play an ascendancy, I just I just return to nature it. That's why I've been the land, because I know I'm going to draw another one. I just know. I just know in my brain that I will draw it. I knew it would just hit another one eventually. This might be a Pyroclasm. Okay, so there is a charm. That's totally fine. Um, so they have a second one. It's all coming to plan. Yeah, probe actually enables a lot of like broken decks. I will agree with that. All right, this might be scary if they have like a tendency plus. Mm, I'm gonna opt in response. This is really annoying because it just starts. It's just gonna icy the uh, 
I see my champion. Hmm. Do I want this? I don't know. The bottom. I think I want more threats. Now that they have okay, they have another they have another return to nature. Interesting. Can I stone rain them? What if I just stone rain them here? I'm gonna stone rain them. I think I get one point more point of damage. <laughs> they don't have any red mana, so this is why the reason I'm doing it. They get to draw an astrolabe, which I think I just mana leak. <laughs> I might just mana leak the astrolabe. Like that's where we're that's where I'm at. Unfortunately, I don't have any removal except for the sites of the dials. So if I draw a denial, I just I definitely just like fight. Okay. Just gonna hang out. Just hanging out. This is a peel. Um. Yeah, I have a lot of mana leaks. I'm gonna mana leak this one. Eventually, I'll, I'll draw the denial to fight. I don't want them to draw any, like extra cards. While, like ponder is okay, but. I just need to draw a second threat. I'll, I'll feel okay. Oh, nice. Ponder. I drew the broken spell first. Ponder. Um, that's a lot of nonsense. I'm gonna shuffle. Okay. <laughs> I could have actually drawn another land. I have more lands to just start attacking with the Lumbering Falls, which can't get Icy'd here. Actually, the Indicata can. Well, I could, no. This is, here's what happens. I activate it, and in response, they tap it down, which is, like, an incredible, like, mana loss. An incredible, like, loss of mana. I might mana leak this. Yeah, I'm gonna mana leak this. This is such an aggressive mana league. I don't really do things like this. Because if they have a cruise, then I'm just screwed. I might be just screwed here. They're just going to cruise, I think. Or play a land and... Or just play another Astrolabe, maybe? They're gonna cruise. That's fine, I guess. It's not really fine, but I guess. I get in. I actually get in for a lot now. Yeah, that would be kind of insane, too. They would just want to resolve the cruise, I imagine. Are my hands very suspect? Um... Just really looking for a second threat. There it is. I'm gonna attack first. I could just like start activating the Lumbering Falls, but I need to. I want to draw like one more land to do that. The Delver like absolutely needs to flip here, but I think they're gonna is a charm. I feel like they're gonna is a charm kill this. Sure. I need like one more land and then I feel comfortable 
getting in with the falls. But then again, it's like, I don't know. Oh, there's a fumarole. Okay, that's all, that stops that plan. It's another Fate Stitcher. That's super annoying if it is. Alright, it's getting a little out of hand. My lack of threats have really kind of done me in here. So now, like, the Lumbering Falls plan is really bad, so I need to find the fight card. I need to find the removal card here. Time is a factor, but they don't need a lot of time, I don't think. They probably need, like, four minutes max to kill me. They need to find... They need to find the Ascendancy first, and then go through all the Return Nations in my hand. The fumarole is a, is kind of like a big deal. It is kind of like a five turn clock. Okay. What are they doing here? <laughs> I could tap four of my lands, that's really true. Alright, repeal for two. Um, that has to happen, I guess. I guess I just let this happen. Um Do I Do I actually let this happen? Okay. Oh, they. Oh, God, no, I forgot. Um, they got me. They boomed me. They really boomed me there. Um, totally forgot about that. Um, Forbidden would have been nicer there. <laughs> but then I wouldn't have Double Man for like double uh, Return to Nature. So, that's okay. I might have died in the Fumarole. I'm actually most worried about the Fumarole. <laughs> I'm trying to think about when to do this. Let's see, they untap. They play a spell anyway. If they play a spell to counter, then they get another untap. Um, they get another untap. Yeah. They have that, like, lapse right now. Okay. Oh, they just, like, F6 of that. Okay. They have another one. <laughs> they have another one. There it is. It's wild. Okay. Hmm. They have another cruise. Okay. So I get to respond by killing this. Which is nice. Yeah, I think you like play your spell and then use the triggers. Then then put everything on the stack, I think. But I mean, they're they have five cards and I have two, so it's still scary. I'm still not in a good spot. Um, I really just don't have any threats. Which, if you learned about earlier, it's about beating combat decks, about threat, pressure, about disruption. They're attacking. I love it. The clock is, um... The, there's pressure here. Um, hmm. I can't do nothing.
I mean, yeah, but who expects double disenchant? Are they going to go for the beatdown plan with the Fumeral now? It's like the only way they win in this time frame. Or they have a third Ascendancy and I just lose. That's fine, too. I think that'd be fine, too. Because it's... Or a third Fate Stitcher. They have all the Fate Stitchers. Okay. Here comes the Fumeral. Um, hmm. God, the ICs are just crazy here. This is, this is such a crazy spot I'm in. Because I'm like a blue-green deck without removal. <laughs> okay. They, I just took one. That's great. They forgot to switch. Deep analysis. Disgusting. Um, I guess I just hold that. Yeah. Yeah, minor victories. Okay. This is tense. Um, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen here. I might just lose. I feel like I'm losing I'm definitely losing, but it's super close. <laughs> um I have to counter this. I I think I actually have to counter this. I think I actually have to counter this. Cause I cannot have like a ton of ITs coming around. This is the laughs, okay. Just gonna they know what I'm drawing, it's a forbid. Imagine if they had switched their power that one time. I would have been so dead. I'd have been so dead here. They didn't even tap a land. They're just not bothering. They they they, 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 they don't really have to bother, I guess. They drew on a lot of lands. Alright, another cruise. Um... I might have to counter this. I think I just have to. At this point in the game. They have a, they have a deep analysis too, which is super annoying. Like, at this point, this is all I can do. I think. Like, if they have an ascendancy, it's whatever. But that's not the game plan anymore. <sighs> oh my goodness, it's over. <laughs> it's over. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it's totally over. And they drew an ascendancy. No. You did not draw. Okay, they're going to deep analysis. They're going to go to four for this. I could draw another disenchant for the control magic. It might be a gigantic blowout. We'll see. I'm gonna die to my own deeper champion. <laughs> no, not like this. I see mid layers are OP, it's true. I'm totally dead to my own guy. Well, it's working, so. I think I have six of this, just for the culture.
That, they, that, yeah, that's absolutely true. Now they get to play Ascendancy. Awesome. Any spell kills, basically, at this point. Uh, done it by my own champion. I guess they had the clock anyways. <laughs> it's my own guy. A bit unfortunate. Um, I drew a lot of lands. Realistically. I didn't have a ton of threats, which is really upsetting. Like, I, I, I drew spells and lands and stuff, but it just, like, out of, like, maybe, like, the 14 spells, 13 spells I played, 14 spells, only three of them. Three or four of them were threats, so. A bit unfortunate. <laughs> Two can always crash. I would give them a win anyway. I've already lost, so it's like I wouldn't I wouldn't take this. I wouldn't take this law I wouldn't take this victory if they like crash if they keep going like this. If they time themselves out, yeah, I take it. But it's like no, nah, I probably would give it to them. <laughs> yeah, another big thing is that I don't have removal. I don't have much removal in this deck. I probably have to play four denials, honestly. Denial's been really good. If I drew if I drew it at some point when they had a single face stitcher, it would have been really good. But um Yeah, I don't know. Denial's been really good. The sense of denial has been really good. I know. Like I'm gonna concede, but still, come on man, let's let's, let's wrap it up. <laughs> let's wrap it up. It's giving us all anxiety here. Switch to power. <laughs> okay. GG's. Gotta move on. Alright. All right, round three with the uh, blue green Delver list. Um, sure, I can keep. Again, I have a bit of pressure, a little disruption. That's all I really want. I kind of want this to be Quiron Dryad. I think it might be just better overall. I'm not really... Okay, another Rakdos deck. To the dome we go. <laughs> that did not bode well for me. Um, Not gonna lie. That's actually a bit scary when they just run, run that out. <laughs> okay. Oh, I already feel like show lagging a bit. All right, this thing's dead, probably. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. It's, just, it's all good. I'd rather that go to the creature than the dome. That, that just happened before. You need some ash, okay? I draw like a cantrip here to be nice. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna fairy vandal then opt. I hope this lives. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna top this for now because I could draw another like ponder or something, and then I have like a big flying, I have a bunch of flying threats. I guess it's got a trades here, and then get it back later with the escape. But I wouldn't mind trading, but they're probably not gonna let it happen. Okay, they're gonna remorse me. I have a pile of cards, <laughs> I have a whole pile of cards. Okay. What did they tip? They took the other Vandal. Huh. I'm going to sit with the Mandalik for a bit. I'm going to block. I'm definitely going to block here. I'll take the trade. It was to I'm totally fine with this. If I draw a land... Um, ooh, they drew the fourth land for the Phoenix, which is something I can't, oh, it's a cast. Oh, it is a cast. So I get I could counter it. So I can actually mana leak this. Okay, I thought it was like a, I thought it was something like Eternalize, where it was like an effect, but it's actually a cast. Okay, I will mana leak this. This is something I can't counter.
I'm gonna get my champion down. Hopefully it just kind of lives. I have this, like, mana leak to kind of protect it. Okay, it doesn't predict against that. I'll we'll draw another opt. And this actually does counter it in a, in a way. Hmm. No, I'll just let it happen. I maybe I'll just draw another threat. But you if I have another opt on top, it's gonna be hilarious. I'm gonna keep that. Because I want this land eventually to activate this lumbering falls. I would have drawn another opt! <laughs> 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 that's very upsetting. <laughs> oh, that's so upsetting. Okay. <laughs> okay, that had to get mana leaked with the quickness here. Uh, Simic chart's interesting, actually. I could, um,. It counters the, the Earthshaker, for the most part. I don't know if I really, like, need, need it, though. So I'm gonna bottom this. Okay, an obsession I can't play on anything. This is a nice lock, though. If I get to go through this, this turn... This is kind of fun. So, I have to hold the Forbid for anything. I literally have to protect my threat here. It's that important. It's actually that important that I counter this. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> um, Alright. Alright, Delver. Same, same kind of deal goes. But now they can, like... I guess they can kind of just... Jam the Earthshaker, and then I don't... Or, I'm sorry, jam the Phoenix. But I have this other... Okay, Tech Giant. Thinking. Um... I guess I could draw the third Forbid. Uh, I, I don't feel like I'm going to win this, though. They have, they have a lot of... Uh, of course. Not with that. Um, just going to delver it up here. This is the saddest Curious Obsession, I think. But I do need to draw a card. Okay. I'm just going to run out all my threats. Just run everything out and see if it works out. <laughs> the Phoenix of Ash out the graveyard is really going to be annoying. Alright, the two the six land, so Earthshaker's on the board. It's on the table here, but it's not a really amazing attack. Especially if I flip both Delvers. Okay, they went for the Tectonic Giant. Alright, one time. Oh my goodness. Now the obsession is going to fall off, which is really sad. I might have two little spells for Delver, honestly. I really I haven't hit a blind flip at all. Yeah, I really can't attack, so the obsession is going to fall off. Unfortunately. They're definitely going to jam. They definitely jam here. I can see them not jamming. The Earthshaker is going to be kind of a big deal for now. But if they attack with everyone, it's a bit rough. I wonder what they're going to do here. They should draw cards. Okay. Alright. Good hit, good hit. I guess I don't know, it's like a two-turn clock, like this. They have another thing. Okay, a Dread Wanderer. And they're going to play the Phoenix. Post-combat Phoenix is actually a nice one. They're loading up for a big, like, sort of swing. Oh, this deck is, like, 
massively annoying. It's very, like, um, grindy. <laughs> Yeah, it's a spell. <laughs> okay. Alright, trigger the champion. I could just start chaining off a billion spells here. That's almost perfect. This is almost really good. Um, I'm trying to make sure I don't die next turn. Six. No, I want I want the Simic Charm here, for sure. I think I just slam with all the Delvers. Um, I think I'm just slamming with all the Delvers here. The next turn, they're probably going to Earthshaker if they don't draw anything good. Um... Oh. I don't like Bounce Bird because I want to trade with the bird. I probably like, I, I don't know. I think I'd rather just trade. And then it just comes back. I think I just kill them with flyers. Hmm. Just let me math this out. So this represents like 6 damage, 8, uh, 12 on there. That requires me to attack with the champion, though. I think I'm just, uh, I think I'm, like, attacking with, like, two Delvers. If they trade, they trade. Then I play the Obsession and I kill them? I don't know. The Simic Charm's also a giant growth. This kind of plays around, like, Chain Lightning plus... This does play around, like, Chain Lightning plus this. That'd be the worst mode, I think. But. Huh. I think I'm just attacking with, like, two Delvers. Because. Reasons. <laughs> I also have the Lumbering Falls, but I won't be able to activate the Lumbering Falls next turn. If I have to Simic Charm something. Or Obsession something. The, the worst card to see is like a Blood Chief Surs or a, a Chain Lightning. I don't want to see that. They're going to take it. I love it. Alright, they found a regular Earth Shaker. Interesting. Huh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking really hard. I can't. I can't bounce this. It seems so bad. I'd rather make them get into a bad attack. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pump it. I would cast a spell to pump it. Twelve. What's in their graveyard? I could just like bounce to tech giant. Six, eight, ten. I block. I mean, they can't kill me. 
And I just pump and I kill them. Yeah, I don't think I... Okay, go. I guess. I think. I don't know. They can pump the Phoenix? It doesn't matter. <laughs> they have to draw cards here. They actually have to draw cards here. Okay. So, I mean, I'm not, I don't know what I'm missing. This is like two. I guess I could like internalize this, but then I just bounce anyway. I bounce it, play the obsession, and that's exactly 12 actually. Or they escape or whatever. So they're all in. All right, it's the last spell. It's a pump spell, too, so I get 12. Actually, it's 11. It was 11 on the dot. <laughs> yeah, it was exactly 11 on the dot there. Oh, my goodness. I actually didn't do the math. I thought it'd be 12. It's actually 11. All right, cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's just move on from that. Let's just have everyone just move on. <laughs> okay. I think false would be 12. It's also true. Actually, I could be false just... I don't know. I don't know. Acting falls is... I don't know. That's a great line there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's just... I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna move on from all that. I feel like... I didn't play... I don't think he was played particularly well in that. All right, I like repeals. I guess it's like pseudo aggro deck. Although not all the cards are like super good for rep repeal. Denial might be a bit slow, but it's still pretty good against the smaller threats. It's a very grindy match. I might just like cut it some mana leaks here. I just go for like straight removal. I think I'm fine with this. I was honestly more worried about Earthshaker out the... I was actually more worried about Earthshaker out of the graveyard than that. But then it, it kind of falls in the same line of them going all in. And of them kind of pushing all in. Because they have to kind of push all in to kill me. Mm. I should have actually cut an Obsession. Um, this is a loose keep, but it's it's kept, so <laughs> I definitely kept it. All right. So the first thing that came to my mind was a champion. It makes more sense if I was playing like Astrolabes. That is true. I don't really have a strong argument either way, I think. Um, okay. I can hold up for bid or just repeal one of these things. I'm going to repeal one of these things. So, I mean... As far as, like, other creatures, I guess there's, like, eight 
eight blue creatures, so it does make champion a bit worse. That's that's the only thing that champion doesn't trigger off of, but if I play Dryad, there's like six other there's six other spells in the main deck that it doesn't trigger off, so you're probably correct. I am dead, by the way. I think I'm pretty dead here. I'm just gonna main phase opt. Um I guess I'm gonna hold it for bid for something. This is a little bit embarrassing because they have just piles of small removal. Okay, they have to do nothing to the board. If they do nothing, they win. It's like they listen to me. Um No, I understand. A dryad reads. <laughs> okay. Um. Did any burn spell? Pretty much any burn spell kills me. I'm definitely chumping. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I want to cut some obsessions now that I think about it. They have just like piles of small removal for my small creatures. I'm actually surprised they won that first game. <laughs> Looking back at that, I'm actually really surprised they won that first game. I want to bring back in the mana leaks. Because it's, it's the only thing I have against like small removal or small creatures. I'll just go to like one forbid. Being on the play, I feel like main leaks a bit better, but not when I don't have any land, so I'm a mulligan. This hand's mildly better, although I don't have any green mana, so the denials are not very good. Um I mean they had a really fast start. I right? there's nothing really could do about that. Okay, that's that was reasonable. The song always comes at the right time. Sure. The song is, um, Mr. Blue Sky, by the way, for the YouTube video. Ooh, the Hydra! Um... I can do a lot of things here. I get to repeal for two, draw a card. Um, I think I'm just repealing. They have to have chain lightning. Well, they could have. I mean, they could have a lot of cards. Actually, what am I saying? Um, I'm attacking because the earth shaker will just like make it not block. So blocking is not super awesome. Well, in the YouTube videos, they don't hear the songs because it's TMCA. I kind of want to play the Hydra with a spell. Um, I have to deny all to like protect my spells, I guess. You, they haven't like done much, so. I kind of, I kind of like my position a little bit. Okay. I might just like chump. I may just like chump fight. Chump one, fight the other. I think is my line.
No, that's bad. I just jump here and I fight the other one. What am I saying? Unless they have, like, burst lighting, and that's really bad. What am I... Yeah, okay. Just jump there. Or fight the other one. They have the burst lighting, it's really bad. But then my Manic Worker Hydra just kind of comes in. Okay, so they had burst lighting. This is fine, though. Okay. Alright, land Hydra. Pyroclasm? Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm going to give all my creatures hexproof. It doesn't matter what spell I cast, I guess. I could have, like, had a pump spell, too, but... If they have a second pyroclasm, they're nuts. Okay. If they have a <laughs> second pyroclasm, they're nuts. Okay, I'm just going to play Protect the Hydra now. <laughs> This is basically plus four on the Hydra, but it also protects it. All my lands get split up because of the, the Civic Charm. Okay, they, they get to Eternalize. Okay, the Blood Chiefs kicked. Um, Alright. X-Proof again. Go go Civic Charm! I was about to cut you, but now you're staying in the deck. <laughs> okay, I could just change a bunch of spells here. Okay, bottom that. That's not a spell. Alright, it's a mana leak. I get the mana leak a uh, Blood Chief's Thirst. That's actually fun. Tectonic Giant? Well, that gets mana leaked anyway. <laughs> Anything gets mana leaked here? Um, the only card that kills me is like a Doom Blade. Alright. Sweet! The Hydra gets there, and oh my god, MGO's freaking out. Alright, round four with the uh, blue green Delver list. Um, I'm in 10th place right now, so if I make top, if I win here, I could probably make top eight, so good shot. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. The sand is interesting. I have a bunch of ponders, so. Should probably help out. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna lead with Ponder. So Ponder will save us. It's always it's always been my reasoning. Hmm, that's not bad. Cause I gotta shuffle away the other lands with the next Ponder. Alright, okay. So they're playing Affinity. Thank goodness I have that Creepy Corrosion on my sideboard. <laughs> I don't know why I ran this out there. Honestly, it's a flash card. I could have... Why did I just run that out there? I could have just, like, snap blocked the, the, the signal bus. I wasn't even thinking. To be completely honest, I was not thinking about that. I could have actually just eaten this pest. But now they have a Ravager, so... I could have mandalate the Ravager. I don't know why I was thinking. Okay, I'm gonna ponder first. That's a lot of champions. I'm gonna shuffle this.
Okay. Ooh, I found another vandal. That's nice. I can probably just sit on this for a while until they draw, like, an Ornithopter. Um... The only card I'm really worried about is, like, a Plating. Or maybe more artifacts for the Ravager. But I do have the Simic Charm to kind of mess up... Mess up a lot of different sort of, um... Arcbound Ravager nonsense. Unless it's on a champion. And it's a champion. Okay, double single pest is a bit annoying. This is a champ. Okay, there, there's a card I was kind of worried about. Okay. Alright, I, I guess I have to kind of draw a land here to hold up Mana Leak. Because I kind of want the trigger. Maybe it would have better, like, to ponder first and do that. I don't know. Probably not. I'm going to ponder anyway. Set up the rest of the draws. I kind of have everything I need here. I just need to, like, live. So I'll shuffle this. I have to do a lot of math. Uh, okay, that's a lane. That's another artifact. This is like four, five, six. They have to have three. If I don't block here, I don't think I'm dead. I'm at 18. Okay. It's like the best they have going for them. Let me think. Okay, let me think. I might be dead. Eat. Um. Well, I have one counter. So one, two, three. I think I'm blocking this. Although it's not that great. I mean, it either trades or it eats. Ten. So I'm not dead this turn, but I might be dead next turn. <laughs> I have a bunch of Civic Charms, so... That might be okay. For the sake of damage, you might just, like, eat this for one extra point and let my guy live. Maybe I should have had the opt. Maybe I should have kept the opt. Because the opt would have, like, guaranteed. So I'm just going to let it happen. Hmm. These tickle pets are really annoying. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I have to attack. Hmm. I don't know. Let me think. I am probably dead to the Etch Champion. Um, on like a crazy, like sort of, like sort of suicide. Like they just put everything on the champion here. Because I can't really stop it, I don't think. Unless I bounce it this turn. Mm, no. Well, if I bounce it this turn, then I can't really activate. I I'm thinking about whether I want to attack or not. If I don't, if I attack... I, I mean, I have the option of drawing a card. And I put a counter on the Vandal. I, it's, it's really just like the double pass. So, okay, if I attack... Let me look at this. They attack four. Um, I block here. So let's see one, two, th 
three, four, and then it's like eight there, nine if they just eat everything. I think I have to just like bounce a bunch of signal pests, probably. I don't think I could attack, actually. Sadly. I, I should have kept the opt. I really should have kept the opt now. So before attacks, I have to bounce at least one of these pests, if not both. Um, I'm at nine. So, they might just eat anyway. They might just eat anyway, so it's like one. Because these single pests basically like add two, add two power to the S champion. The best land they drew was the Bastion. Well, I mean, like, they already had a batch, and so it doesn't really matter. Oh, God. That's so... That's so bad for me. Um... <laughs> that's actually incredibly terrible. Terrifying. Because now I can't double bounce. I have to counter this. There's no way I, like, double Ravager on the field. It would, it would result in my death. There's a lot of math happening. I, I I don't think I can actually let the the double. Oh, they have Rutalic Rebuke. Oh, that's so that's so good. Okay, they have Rebuke. Um. All right, I got it. Oh my god. <laughs> Four. Five, six, and then I just like take a bunch of damage. That's the problem. It's like this adds one. Um, four, five, six, seven. I think I think I'm mana leaking this again. I don't think I even win after this part either, which is the worst of this. But I don't think they can go all in. I don't know. I'm probably wrong. They probably just attack. Eat the pests. I take like... I take six and then they just go on with their lives. Probably just dead. I think I'm just dead, though. Yeah, I'm just dead. Unless I, I think I have to now. I have to block the Ravager, I guess. I'm just dead here. God, that man, the the rebuke was so good. Honestly, if they didn't have the rebuke, I think I could have like really gotten out of this. They can even just trade, put it on the champion, and kill me with champion. That's how good the precision is. They don't even have to, like, sack. All they have to do is keep this Metalcraft, and then they win. That's all they have to do. Like, they don't even have, like... They can even sack... If they wanted to, they could sack this, the Citadel, but it really doesn't matter. Like, they could save the Ravager, too. But again, I don't think it really matters. There's nothing really I could do about this. Okay. They decided to kill me though, so that's a, that's a good step. All right. We got. I'm glad they decided to kill me. I didn't have the unsummon. I mean, if I had an unsummon, then... If I had an unsummon there, I could have stayed at one, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think. 
Okay, so... All of this nonsense comes up. Even the repeals can come in, too. It's actually pretty great. I'm just gonna cut all the counter spells. I don't really like most counter magic here. I'm just going full, full on board control. That's my plan. That is the plan. All right, go, go corrosion. Go, go corrosion. And the four freaking doom blades in, in the north form of return to nature. I knew creeping corrosion would be good at some point. I like it better than rebuild. I think corrosion is just. If I'm in green, I might as well just play corrosion. Oh my god, that was such a blowout of a rebuke, but I feel like it's like a one or two of in their list, too. If, it, if I didn't have to, like, blow that mana, then maybe I just, like, I bounce, I could bounce a pest there. I'm probably still dead. I might still just be dead if they went all, all in. Because then they wouldn't have the mana to, um, they would have had the mana to, like, activate a Bastion, and then maybe kill me with that. This hand's fine. I can keep. Lead with Ponder. I find a removal spell at some point. I could flip the Delver, too. With this setup. Okay. Not gonna opt in a turn. Um so I can like guarantee my flip here. Okay, ooh, Frogmite, like that. Oh, double Frogmite. I don't like that. <laughs> I liked it and then I didn't like it. I already know. I already know. It's a ponder. I have to play this so I can have a blocker up. I'll need to set the rest. Of I need to draw anything. That's um. Let's see. I'm gonna shuffle. I really need a removal spell here. Okay, repeal's nice. Uh, I'm getting in. <laughs> Definitely getting in here. I gave you a repeal opt on my opponent's end step. Yeah, the worst card to see right now would probably be like a master. I, I like I don't have a disenchant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I love calling it out. I love it when I'm right all the time. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Um... I guess I'll just take 11. <laughs> Casual 11 here. Okay, I do the repeal. Might be a bit too late. <laughs> you know, yeah! Might be just a bit too late here. Um... Might be just chumping the master and like trying to kill everything else. I kind of want to play champion. Play champion. Um, repeal the ginger brood on the attack. Although I miss a counter. I will miss a counter on the vandal. Or I can. Maybe I can like vandal repeal. Or. Vandal opt opt. <laughs> Man, this is rough. <laughs> this is super rough. I, I I guess I kept a hand with like no removal either, but okay, it's just gonna pass. I think I just have to kind of. I I'm dead to like a counter spell. I'm actually legitimately dead to a counter spell or another master. That too. That's really bad too. <laughs> that's super bad too. Um Okay, new plan. Or new idea. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. Um. Okay, I think the plan... Okay, the plan here, now, is to repeal the Ginger Brute, draw a Disenchant, and Disenchant the Master... That's like that's like the best I could do here, I think. So I think I have to go for like best case scenario. Yeah, but then I die to the ginger brute. That's can't be blocked. Oh, you must be right behind. I don't know. Oh my god. They show restraint. <laughs> so much restraint here. <laughs> this is incredible restraint. Like, I could, yeah, if I don't draw the thing, yeah, I guess I can opt. Um. But I want to draw Disenchant. <laughs> I would like to draw Disenchant. <laughs> okay, so. Repeal this Brute. Draw a card. Fuck. <laughs> okay, that's a second green source, though, for the uh, Creeping Corrosion. So I'm going to make it before... I have to just draw Creeping Corrosion, I guess. Okay, that's a bottom. Easy bottom. Okay. Um, Alright, Delver, get in there. They're just drawing into Creeping Corrosion now. Uh, denial, denial, denial. Um, this is rough. This is actually really rough. I don't think I can really get out of this. No, because I have to play specific out here. Oh, uh, maybe my hand was not great. Their hand was maybe just way better. Maybe their hand was just way better. I think that was just it. No double block. I, I could have double blocked. But then I just die. <laughs> I think I'm just dead no matter what. I think I just kind of gave up. You're still getting able to opt? I could have. <sighs> I 
I think I'm just I'm just dead. I don't know. I don't tell you guys. Okay, maybe I'm not dead, but it's close. <laughs> I should activate the factory and attack. Then I'd be dead. I'd be dead if I they activated. I no, I'm not. I wouldn't be dead. Dead. I'm definitely killing this ginger brute. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna like. I'm definitely um chumping the master fighting. Fighting the ginger brute. Okay. Oh yeah, they they have to do that. Yeah, obviously. Remember when they didn't attack with everyone last turn? It was actually like, I just bided my time for a bit. I'm actually just probably dead to the the Mishra's factory if anything now. Okay. Fight! Fight, fight, fight! <laughs> Corrosion be nice. Be very nice. I'm gonna go to four. Yes! More 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 blood here. More blood for the blood god. No! Um I have one more turn. I'll have to draw another champ or master. Okay. To do nothing. Why? <laughs> <laughs> they, drew, they drew like every good card. Now I'm just really dead. Now I'm just really dead. That was literally the best card they could have drawn. Oh man, that was actually the best card. Oh well. I had fun. I had fun. I had good times. It was good times, you know. Good times were had by all. One of us had fun. That's 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 what's important. So one of us had fun. Yeah, any creature would have been good. Any hates creature would have been great. They're doing it. Damn, they're killing me. This is insane. There's like so many bad cards. They're playing Frogmite. <laughs> the frog add the Frogmite killed me. No, Frogmite's fine. I think Frogmite's actually fine. Their their draw was actually very good. Honestly, without any memes, their draw is actually very very strong. They put like six power, or eight power, and turn like two or something like that. <laughs> it's like the deck is still good. It's crazy. My hand was a bit suspect. Um, I didn't really draw a ton. I didn't really have. I didn't really keep a high removal hand. Also, didn't expect him to come with the eight that fast. But was, that's okay. These things happen. If I just had to kind of go through my final thoughts, I thought the deck was okay. Not like super amazing. Um, yeah, deeper champion could be the dryad. Um, which is. Deeper Chamber can definitely be Dryad. It's probably just better overall if it was a Dryad. So I'll probably just slot that in. Um, I want one less forest and maybe like one more island. Um, the Obsession Forbid thing never really happened, but I think it's still okay. I had a, I had a bit too few spells for Delver, I think. But I'm not really sure. Everything else, the Gorger felt great when, I, when it happened. Like some the the vandals seem great with like the oh the size denial versus simic charm I'm not sure which is better I think denial is actually better when you get one of these like guys out 
Like, I could see myself just cutting Delver and just playing, like, 12 of these things. Um, and then just playing, like, a bunch of, like, random spells or whatever. Like, maybe I just, like, cut Delver and just, like, just, like, protect these things. Which seems like the entire deck was to, like, get a grow, a grow guy and just, like, pump that. Delver really disappointed me, but that's what Delver does. It, it, you live and die by it. You live and die by the flip. So maybe if I just like wanted to change this, I would just like cut this. Uh, maybe play like. Uh, do I own Quran Drives? Is the real question. I do, and they're. Mm, cut this for an island. Play one more of these, and then maybe just like flex in some more spells. Like I want to play the fourth denial for sure. And I actually really like Simic Charm. I actually really enjoyed Simic Charm. So this is like one more. Or maybe like maybe it's maybe I don't have to play four though. I can play a flex spell. Um maybe like another counter spell. Maybe like another card drawing spell. Uh repeal seemed really nice. I could I probably fit some repeals in main deck. Um I don't really know. It would have to be like a blue spell. Or maybe a blue green spell. It's kind of food for thought, but anyways, I thought the deck was fun. Um, I definitely enjoy tempo decks, so and the sideboard was kind of whatever. I don't know. I didn't really bring in that much, but but yeah, just kind of fun to grow my creatures and do my thing. Yeah, maybe repeal might be the best because it's really good Vandal. Well, Vandal is kind of awkward. If there's some card that drew two cards on my on my opponent's turn. That'd be nice, but I haven't really thought about it. But yeah, 